It's <laughs> cool on the beat. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Mianda, Yanda Yanda, Mia the Dawn, Mia. I have a bunch of nicknames. Um, yeah. So to my frequent flyers, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you, the, for everybody, I hope you know the whole coronavirus and quarantining thing isn't getting you down too much. I've been trying to stay positive and stay motivated, but I'm not even gonna lie. You know, it had me for a second. I was really just not even feeling it. But, you know, you just got to keep staying positive. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is my uh, fifth Mia talk, I think. Fourth, fifth. I think it's the fifth one. I don't know. But um, I've done previous Mia talks, as you've seen. If you haven't seen any of them, I have a whole playlist to go and peep them. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you see the question I posed in my thumbnail, in my title, is chivalry dead? the reason y'all probably like why is she even bringing this up but i'm on social media so i'm on twitter and i, I feel like if y'all saw like some of the stuff that said on twitter you would be like what's what's going on like people with brains think and say things like not even that they think this they say it they'll put it on a public platform like bro so i can't even lie I'm with the guys on this one because I feel like a whole with the whole chivalry and expectations ties in. I've done a video on relationships before, dating, talking, situationships, all that stuff, but I've never talked about expectations when you're looking, when you're looking for somebody and when you're actually dating them, you know. So I feel like I feel like all guys should be chivalrous, of course, because you know why not? What do you lose from being a gentleman? However, these um for a lack of a better word, modern women. And when I say modern women, I mean women. I don't mean the women that are, you know, independent, doing their own thing, getting this coin. I don't mean them. I mean the birds like Lori Harvey and Black China and Masika and Alexis Sky and all them people. You know, we live in the era where you know, I'm sorry. We live in the era where like women expect men to just be a coin purse for them, to be an ATM, and you know, I, I'm gonna use all your money up. You're gonna pay for, you know, you're gonna pay my rent, my utilities, my car note. You're gonna pay for my HD lace. You're gonna pay for my full set. And you know, you're not even dating the person. Why do you expect that? I feel like in today's society, society, both men and women do have very like over the top, overzealous expectations for each other. However, I will give it to the women, or well, not give it to the women. I'll give it to the men that you know, you know, the women out here are overdoing it. Like, like there was this one girl. She's, I, she might, I might actually shut down her account recently because Twitter was going in on her. She said, if you cannot um, afford the certain type of vehicle or the certain type of, um, like if you're not up, up to the par like that, then um, we can't date, right? Mm, it like, okay, I understand not wanting to date outside of your like financial bracket, that's understandable, but like don't shame people for it. Cause it wasn't even just that comment. There was plenty of stuff under it. And she got to saying stuff like, oh, well, if you can't afford it, why are you talking to me? That means you can't afford this and this and such and such. And someone's car doesn't determine who they are. That's like, oh yeah, he's wearing Jordan. So I know he's fly. I know he got money. No, he don't. He probably got a bus pass. You know, Jordans aren't that expensive. And you don't, you don't know where this person's money is allocated. You don't know why their money is allocated the way it is. You don't know what's going on in a person. And just for the simple fact that he's not driving the same year vehicle as you, nope you're not you're not you know you're subpar that's why i'm like i just don't understand the 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 modern women again i say i don't understand the mental like <laughs> like what is going on and then it comes the whole thing of like 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 i said our lori harvey's i really did love lori harvey but then she's like honestly if you really like peel it back and tell the honest truth she's the female future and it's ridiculous like why why I'm not gonna get into that because that's the whole other conversation. But I'm not a fan of hers anymore. She's she's not like the cute, like girly. She's not that anymore. And I'm sure Steve Harvey just be sick every time he see her on Instagram. But you know that, like to tell you know to tie it in with another thing. I don't know how many people have been who know who Michael Todd is. It's probably like very seldom that you don't know who he is. But um, he did relationship goals. If you don't know, now he did relationship goals 
reloaded and so part of relationship goals reloaded is rip up your list right so not even gonna cap <laughs> not even gonna cap your girl had a list and i say had you know past tense because i don't have my list anymore because you know pastor mike told us to rip up our list lol but like not like when i say he told us to rip up our list i'm not saying it in a way where i'm just like following blindly this is what he said he said, basically, if you have a list, you made the list of what you want and what you think your life should go like. But when you're praying over that list and you just think about that list, looking at the list constantly is basically negating everything that God has planned for you. You know, God knows what we need and he's going to give us what we need, not what we want. So that's why he was like, rip up your list, whether it's for your life plan, your relationship, your friends, you know, whatever, whoever not whoever whatever god has for you it's what's gonna be and you'll just be praying over a list that will never you know the, the nothing will come of it you'll just be disappointed all the time you'll just be like dang bro like my list is just not no matter what and so that that part i definitely did agree with him on it however um i don't think god like wants us to be like aimless i think we're allowed to have like opinions and have things in our mind like oh yeah you know i think i would like this i would like that i would like that because i don't think i don't think i don't think uh, any type of god would want you just oh where the, where the chips may fall you know that's it i don't think any god would want that for you but you know that's just what the analogy that he used so you know ripped up our list <laughs> not that my list was like over the top but yeah that was just this whole thing his analogy for rip up your list so not that my list was anything overzealous with like what i would like or any expectations or anything because i'm not that um i'm not that um like over the top with it it's not really that deep to me like if someone opens my door or not it's not gonna oh check or you know no check it's not really gonna do anything for me i have i'm able-bodied so it's like and then that's the thing again like comment down below if you know i'm weird for that because i just didn't grow up like that it's not anything that was like pounded into me like oh you should expect a man to do this you should expect a man to do that it was nothing like that so it really doesn't affect me now so when somebody does open the door it's like oh you know that was nice of you you didn't have to do that you know da 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 it's not I feel like I might be weird for saying that. I probably shouldn't have, <laughs> shouldn't have admitted that, but I don't know. But yeah, I'm not like really over the top with that stuff. Comment down below, all my guys, comment down below if you have a problem being chivalrous or if you have a problem, you know, doing things like that for women. Because I feel like most guys don't, especially if you're like kind, most guys don't mind. Like, oh, let me get that for you. Oh, let me hold the door open. Let me, I feel like most guys don't mind that. Now, when you're one of these Karens out here, you know, oh, you know, you, you're, you're acting entitled and whatnot, that's the word the the modern woman of 2020 acts very entitled so i could understand where guys would be like yeah i'm not doing anything for you because i don't owe you that i'm doing this out of my kindness and out of me being a man's man you know sorry <laughs> out of me being like a man's man so i'm gonna do that not uh you ain't get my door uh you didn't you know that type of thing so i can definitely understand where guys would be like no i'm not i'm not you know I, i'm not doing that yeah i don't owe you anything you are you know quite entitled all of that type of stuff i can definitely understand but shout out to those who do you know even though the birds out here are ruining it for everybody and that's the thing too it's like okay so y'all act like that and then you're surprised when the guy that you're with is ruined for the next person stop ruining them for us stop ruining people's children like please spare us okay comment down below on my guys if you still believe in chivalry if you still agree with it and all that other stuff now i know there's gonna be somebody out there who says well you know y'all are fighting for the equality 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 mm, equality is one thing being a gentleman is another like you know like i said i'm not even a big person on oh you have to open my door you have to pull out my seat you have to pay for dinner like i can i can afford a plate of food it's not that deep but like you know usually like if you okay that that's see that's one expectation i have if you ask me on a date i'm expecting you to pay because you asked me i could have been at home minding my business but you decided to ask me okay so there's nothing wrong with expecting you to pay you know pay for your food now with that being said that doesn't mean i'm gonna expect that the whole time like i said i work i can afford to play the food and like if i'm feeling you what's the issue with me paying for something 
Now, a lot of people, because of pride, don't like when women pay. I don't understand that either. Someone comment below if that's a thing of yours as well, because I would love to understand that. But, like, I feel like, I, again, because of how I grew up and because of, you know, certain influences, I think things can be half seas. But some people do not believe in going Dutch. So, you know, I don't know. It just depends on the type of woman you are and how you were raised. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the type of, in all truth and honesty, I'm the type of person who doesn't like asking people for things. So, um, like, that's just how I grew up. And then it, like, you know, followed me into obviously this life of dating or whatever. So, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I'm just like the type of person, I don't, I'm not going to expect you to pay for me and I don't, I'm not going to beg you to pay for me. I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those girls that's always asking for $40, like, no, I'm good. So yeah but yeah i know this this talk was quite uh quite quick but i just wanted to you know talk about that and give my opinion on that this is honestly just what this was just an opinion video not anything you know well i mean just to take my opinion and honestly i really want you guys to interact and like like comment below what you think about that because like this thing of the modern 2020 women like y'all are making us look bad okay but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen any of my other Mia Talks, go ahead and go to the playlist. Go through my videos. I hope you enjoy. I'll see y'all in my next one. And I hope you guys are all staying safe for real. Social distance so we can get up out of this piece, okay? I'll see y'all in my next one.